This video is sponsored by LG. I really don't know if I want to show you guys what's behind this door. I really don't think I've ever shown you this. I am attempting to get my closet in order. Honestly, it's a wreck. I've neglected it for the last two years. I've put it off, I've put it off, and now is the day that I'm going to be cleaning out my closet. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, share with you some of my best tips. Nothing I'm doing is going to be super expensive. It's just gonna be time, but we're gonna do it today. All right, you guys, here it is. It's kind of a mess. I mean, really the biggest problem with my closet is just it's kind of overrun with clothes. All of these dresses back here are just shoved. I don't even know. There's some fake hair here. It goes back there for days. Look, what is that up there? Like a Christmas present, I don't even know. I got jeans. It's kind of mixed match, doesn't really work. This little piece over here is where I keep some beauty items in there. And then I haven't even gone through my shoes, so I have so many shoes on the floor floor so yeah it's mess all right step one i'm gonna take everything out of this closet and put it in my bedroom that way i can go through all the pieces decide what i'm gonna keep what i'm gonna get rid of it's such a pain to do this but it is really important because sometimes you think you go through everything but you really don't so everything is coming out right now Now, once I had all my clothes out in my room, then I had to go through everything. I know people say, if you haven't worn it in six months, get rid of it. But I live in Missouri where we have seasons. I haven't seen some of these clothes in a year. So for me, I look at each item and decide, do I plan on wearing this in the future? If it's something that I could see myself wearing, I'm gonna hold on to it. But maybe it's something that was kind of trendy and it's not really something I plan on wearing in the future. That I'm gonna set aside to donate. Now, after I went through everything, I came up with five trash bags full of clothes, you guys. It has been way too long since I've cleaned out my closet. So now that I have my clothes, I want to donate them. And I've actually partnered up with LG and ThreadUp. You guys know ThreadUp. They're one of the largest online resellers. They sell gently used items on their website. They're really trying to reduce the impact on our planet by extending the life of our clothing. So I love that. So to encourage you to donate, LG is giving away a chance for you to win and free LG Styler Steam Closet for anyone who donates a box of clothing. Let me show you how easy it is. So clean out your closet like I did. Then you're gonna grab any box that you have on hand and fill it with gently used items. Just make sure any of the items that you're donating don't have stains on them and they're in fairly good condition. So once you get your donation boxed up, you're gonna go to threadup.com slash cleanout slash LG. You're gonna click on order a donation label to print out your free shipping label. Then you're gonna select a charity to donate $5 to and LG and ThreadUp are gonna donate $5 on your behalf and you'll receive the tax receipt that you donated to that charity. ThreadUp is gonna email you this shipping label. You just attach it to your box. Then you can send it off through USPS or FedEx. And remember guys, for every box that you donate, you're gonna be entered in to win a free LG Styler Steam Closet. Plus you're gonna have a $5 donation. It's a win-win and it's great for our planet. And if you guys get your closet cleaned out, make sure you post on socials with the hashtag closet clean out. So once I got all of the clothes taken care of, that was probably the biggest job. But next I decided to just go through my shoes, pull out anything that I just don't wear anymore. If you guys remember I had shoes all over the floor. So I really just need to clean things out.
don't feel bad if you have not cleaned out your closet in forever. I've probably lived at my house now for about six years and I haven't really touched my closet much at all. So if you haven't done it, I'm hoping that I'm giving you motivation to do it. But in my closet, there were some shelves that no one had ever painted and I decided I really just wanted to paint those white. So once everything was out of my closet, I went through and I cleaned all the shelves really well. Then I went through and repainted some of those shelves white. I just found some paint that I had that was like trim paint for our house and I used that and I think that it really made everything look white and crisp and nice and it didn't cost me any money. For me, the projects in my house that make the biggest difference is when I organize and clean things out and you don't have to spend a lot of money. But if you wanna spend a little bit, I would buy just a few decorative bins that you could add to your space. So I went and got a few white bins to use in the space and I also got some wicker ones that I wanted to put up on the top shelf just to give everything a nice cohesive look. The white bins I grabbed at Target and the wicker ones I found at At Home Store. I don't know if At Home is just a local store to where I'm at in Kansas City. Let me know if you guys have that store. One of the techniques that I like to use when I'm in my closet to really help keep things nice and organized is to categorize things. So I'll put all of my summer dresses together. I'll put all of my long sleeve dresses together, all of my long sleeve clothing or my tank tops or my pants. Categorizing helps for you to know exactly where your items are at. Now, if you wanna take it a step farther, which I've never done, but I will say when I put the items back in there, I did it and I love the way it looks, is you can actually color code them. So when you're in the categories, put all of your red shirts together, put all your white shirts together. That way you know exactly where to find things. And I have to say, I kind of like it. Now my next tip is to make whatever hangers you're using streamlined so you're using all the same hangers. These black, I guess they're felt or velvet hangers are really nice because they're thin so you can fit more on a row than like the bulky plastic hangers. I actually bought mine at Costco. They weren't that expensive so look there if you need some hangers. But even if you're doing the white hangers, in my daughter's room I have white hangers but they're all the same. So try to get the same hangers in your closet no matter what you use. So another hack is how you can fold your long dresses. So over here, if you look, I have this red dress and it goes all the way to the floor. If you wanna make it so it stops where your short dresses do, I'm gonna show you a hack for hanging this up. That way you have more floor space underneath here. I'm gonna show you two ways for how to hang these dresses. So one way is you can take the bottom part of your dress, pull it up here, and then on this lower portion, you're just gonna pull it through and then make it as flat as possible and you can have it hang like that. That's one option. Option two, you're gonna fold the dress in half and then you'll just put it halfway through your hanger and then you can kind of try to pull it apart too if you need to. What do you like better, option one or two? Let me know down in the comments. If you guys love seeing home decor videos, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. For items that you don't use very often in your closet, you wanna put them up high out of the way, but I like to get a decorative bin. That way, when you look up at the top of your closet, it looks really nice. So in my closet, I bought these wicker baskets at the at-home store. They were under $20, but they're just really cute, and I can put in their items that I maybe get out every once in a while. Like I keep our travel items, some hats, memory items, things like that. So these are the Target bins that I got. I love that I was able to get like a variety of sizes. These were actually really affordable and they fit in nicely on my shelf. I also have another one over here. I keep some of my hair and skincare items in here just because I don't have room out in my bathroom. If you wanna save some money, I wanna recommend getting these bins from Dollar Tree. You guys, these are some of my favorite Dollar Tree bins. They're only a dollar and they're great for storing items in your closet. You can see how nice it is where I have six up here. These are a really easy option and they hold quite a bit of your clothing. A new item that I really wanted to pick up off of Amazon are these acrylic organizers for your clothing. See, I don't have a lot of drawers in here, so I have to rely on shelving. You can do things like your bins, but a lot of times I like my clothing sitting out so I can see it. So these acrylic organizers are great to separate your clothing.
If you're wondering how I got my pants to look nice and neat on here and really streamlined, I'm gonna show you my folding technique. Okay, so I have my pair of pants. I'm gonna lay them out and then I'm just gonna fold them over in half. Then this little part here, you're gonna tuck in and then all you have to do is fold them over in equal thirds. Ta-da, that's all you have to do. So my next tip is what to do with all your jewelry in your closet. Now, one of my most popular organizing videos on my channel was where I showed you guys how to make these with Dollar Tree frames. These frames are still hanging up here and they're a perfect organization for your earrings. So what you're gonna do is grab a Dollar Tree frame, then you're going to get some of the shelf liner that's like a white mesh. You could use a colorful one as well. And you're gonna take out the glass and put in that white mesh, put the backing back on your frame, and then just use some command strips to hang it on the wall then they're perfect for putting in earrings so your earrings will just fit in here perfectly this is such a great system and so affordable the other option that I have is creating a little tear tray I bought this from Dollar Tree these are two glass plates from Dollar Tree and then this is one of their glass bowls and then I just bought these cute little candle holders I put it together with e6000 and this is great for little posts that won't fit in here with like the danglies. I'll just leave them sitting out here. And honestly, this is easy for me. I'll just throw them on here. And I find both of these systems work great. So my next tip is to have a valet hook or some kind of hook in your closet so you can hang out your outfit of the day. Mine is actually up here because this is really the only spot that I could find for it. And this is a hook from Ikea. You just screw it into the wood or your wall and then pick out what you wanna wear for the day and you can just hang it up here. That way it's good to go. I love doing this at night. If you wanna get really crazy, you could pick out all your outfits for the week and you know be ready to go all week. So do you guys remember before I took everything out of my closet, I had like two different hampers in there. And honestly, there was just so much room taken up by hampers that I wanted something that was more streamlined. So I decided to get some stackable bins that we could use to organize our laundry in there. That way we can sort them and we really don't let our laundry fill up that much before we do a load. We can just pull it out when we need it to be pulled out. It's gonna be so much more streamlined and it doesn't take up a lot of room. If you guys like seeing this style of video, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know to do more like it in the future. Another thing that can make a huge difference in your room is just simply changing out your light fixture. The one we had in there before only had one light bulb in it and really we couldn't see anything. So I went on Amazon, found a light fixture that had several bulbs and I always buy the daylight bulbs, which mainly is around like four or 5,000 Kelvin. Daylight is just gonna give you more of a blue, cool light versus a lot of lights are yellow. So I like the daylight bulbs. Now when I walk into my closet, it's super bright and I can just see everything. Another really cool thing that you could add to your closet and not spend a lot of money is a motion detector closet light switch. We actually added this in my daughter Annabelle's closet because she was all the time leaving her light on. So you can set this light switch so that when you walk into the room, it's automatically going to turn the light on. And then when you leave, you can set how long the light stays on for. For us, we set it for five minutes. After five minutes, the light is gonna go off. That way we no longer have to worry about her leaving her her light on in her closet anymore. So this is a genius idea for any closet. I'll leave the link to the switch that I use down in the description box. Now my final step and one that sometimes I forget but I think makes a big difference is to label the items in your closet, especially if you have multiple people doing the laundry. That way it's gonna help people put things back where they go and you don't have to worry about finding your stuff in like weird spots. To make my labels, I just went on my phone in my Cricut Design Space and typed out the different labels. I sized them to the size I needed them to be. Then I cut them out on permanent vinyl, I weeded out all the vinyl. I'm gonna use transfer tape to add my labels to my shelves. I also added them to the bins around the room. This took a little bit of extra time to add the labels, but I think in the end, it's gonna keep everything organized so much longer.
hope that I gave you guys some motivation today to clean out your closet. I want to thank LG and ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to link all the information down in the description box if you guys want to participate in the closet clean out and send in your gently used items. And I will talk to you guys in our next video. Bye.